So here is kind of the jumble mess that I have to figure out. The old bilge pump had some really funky connections that I cut out and it had a relay that I also cut out because we took it all down because we thought we'd use a completely different system. But turns out this is what we have to go back to. We had a funky setup and the hose that was going into the bilge never reached the bottom of the bilge. So we always, always had standing water and honestly, there was more oil in there than just water. It was really gross. This is this is what we used to have. It's still dripping. This is what we used to have, and it did not live into the bilge. It lived outside of it, and it was a self priming pump. The problem is that, well, one, it's broken, and the other problem is that um, it only pulls 2.8 gallons a minute, which is not much, and it's far more expensive than a regular bilge pump. Ah, update. Things didn't really work out. So we're thinking about using this guy because it has a smaller footprint. Drop it in like this. We'll cut it out. It'll be easy. And then we can pivot it around and it'll be good to go. However, we have discovered a slight issue. Turns out our bilge pump is... Bilge, our bilge. Our bilge. Yes, our bilge yes. is really narrow. As in... This is how far the wall is from this hole. It's not going to work. So we have to scrap the cheap, effective, and handy little bilge pump idea. And we're going to have to go back to this bad boy's design, which is a bummer because we've ripped everything out. So we'll have to put the tube back in. We'll have to buy a new filter because I broke it. It's just a little dumb, but live and learn. So the connections are pretty good overall, even though they're not really protected. Uh, I don't really see any corrosion, so I'm going to reuse the connections because it's just convenient. But I know that in the future I'm going to have to replace them at some point. Except for this little guy, which came off. I just gave it a little tug and it came right off. So it's always good to check your connections. So here's my understanding of how the bilge pump works. This is why it takes me forever to do anything on a boat. I was going to drill a hole, I grabbed a drill bit, but I had to find a screw. So I took the drill bit with me and I walked around to look for a screw. Found a screw and then I came back and my drill bit just vanished. 15 minutes looking for the drill bit, couldn't find it, I gave up and look where the drill bit is. All along, it was right there. It drives me mad, it really does. done for today I've installed the bilge pump I haven't done any of the plumbing and I'm hoping that um, it's all done correctly we didn't realize that the bilge was uh, this narrow if we wait for the water level to reach the top to activate this float the float activates here and the water level would already be really high and be flooding other areas of the boat and we don't want that. I'm thinking that we need to place the drill onto something since there's already a hole. So I'm going to wedge a piece of wood in there. This way it can guide itself through. We'll see how it goes. section of it delaminated and then there's the bulk of it.
Good catch. Okay, now let's connect these, add some water, and then see if it pumps. We have our float switch bracket attached to this bracket, which will also hold our hose pump. And then on this side, we have our magnet that will keep the float switch sitting level and upright properly at the bottom of our bilge, and this will adhere to the side of our bilge. And it will also help to keep our pump perpendicular to the floor so that we can guarantee that we are actually sucking up water from the bilge. After this gets dropped into the bilge, we can then go in and clip our float switch into place and it should function. Surgery down there. I'm trying to. I got it. It's in the. It's in the zip tie. It's in there. You can look. Is it, it in there? You can look at it. It's in there. It doesn't. Put my no, no, your fingers are gross. There you go. No, no, I did it. I did it. There you go. You can see it. And let's see when it kicks on. something Woo! we did something that did works it. our bilge pump works Yay. yeah it's pretty awesome happy days we don't even know what we're doing and we made it work i don't know what you're talking about i knew so, what i was doing the whole time attempt successful just the way we like it huh uh-huh